How has your partner made you feel safe during your relationship? Edit. Thank you all for your thoughtful responses. It's nice to know so many amazing humans exist on this planet. Edit 2. Thank you so much for the award. Talking is enough for me. Talking weekly, or something like that, about our relationship, and how we can grow and improve. We also talk about what problems we need to work on. We talk about our feelings, how they have changed or grew, and pretty much everything under the sun. It makes me feel very safe knowing that they can be honest with me. He doesn't leave. He has never walked off in a disagreement. He would refuse to leave when I would tell him to in the early days, before I learned how to communicate. That's the big one for me. He's a very steady, predictable man who very rarely raises his voice and meets everything logically. His steadiness has given me the safe space to learn to shed the chaos of my childhood. He allows me to fuck up without big negative consequences. Even if he's in a terrible mood he will reassure me, explaining he's just annoyed from work or whatever, as I can't seem to shake that a man throwing off angry vibes is a frightening thing. I can't even describe it. But in nearly 10 months he's never once raised his voice. Or given me the silent treatment. Or got Larry when drinking. From an ex-husband who would drink heavily and suddenly look you dead cold in the eye after dancing with you and go I fucking hate you. You are a cunt and then proceed to hit things and rage. I cannot describe how bloody peaceful it is to spend time with a man who cuddles you and lays his head in your lap while you stroke his head. Who strokes your hair while your head is on his shoulder and kisses your nose when you look up at him. There was a woman at a table at Target handing out candy and anti-vax propaganda. I had just started treatment for cancer, and my immune system was shot. Without saying a word, husband gathered up all the woman's cards and pamphlets and threw them in the trash. Red heart. Less grand gestures. He's always there, helping. A guy who takes out the recycling and cooks dinner is one who will have my back in other ways. Reminders that he loves me, all the time. Asks me how my oncology visits go and how my immune system is doing, so he knows how affectionate to be. He does a lot, but the one thing that really stuck out was when I'm highly anxious. I don't tell people my problems. I like that people think I'm confident and dependable so I keep my issues to myself. But when there's a situation that people expect me to take care of and I am starting to sweat myself, my partner puts one hand behind my back and rubs it a bit. Sometimes scratches my back or the back of my arm. I feel really safe and reassured. I like that he seems to be the only person who can tell I'm starting to get uncomfortable. Frequent check-ins and discussions about our goals and future. My husband is more outspoken than I am but also understands that sometimes it takes me a little bit to process how I feel about something. He's really good at giving me that space yet also asking the right questions, without rushing me, to help me figure myself out. Emotionally, he showers me with affection and affirmations that he loves me and only me. I've always felt secure in our relationship. Physically, he's very competent at inflicting violence when needed. I know it's not a popular outlook but we live in a dangerous city and this isn't the Disney Channel. Sometimes people fight and I'm glad he knows how. I feel bulletproof around him because of that and it's honestly an immense feeling of relief. A few months back when I recently had surgery, I was insecure about my scars. My partner went on and kissed my scars and I felt so safe. When I first went out with him on June 16, 1979, 10 minutes after we met, he asked me if I would be his girlfriend. Then he said that means I don't see anyone else and you don't see anyone else. I said yes because I had never been out with a guy before and didn't know how to navigate how to talk to someone you were interested in or anything. He made it very clear what he wanted, and I was very thankful for that. Yes, we will have our 42nd anniversary at the end of May. He took care of and supported me during very unsure and difficult times in life, kept me calm and brought me to urgent care when I broke a bone, sat with me and my family in the hospital while we said goodbye to my grandmother for the last time. The list goes on. His love and support mean everything to me. He's repeatedly shown himself to be reliable, reasonable and trustworthy in everything he says and does. He's always showing me how much he cares for and loves me. I feel safe knowing I can talk to him about anything and there's no judgment, only understanding. It's hard to describe. He is my safe place. 
He is patient, supportive, understanding, doesn't judge, has never raised his voice, goes above and beyond to resolve things instead of just letting them sit. In the beginning of our relationship, I had a lot of problems due to past emotional abuse. I was constantly accusing him of things and getting angry with him. Every single time, I was met with nothing but patience and compassion. He never raised his voice, he never tried to deflect the blame, he just heard me out and then explained his side. He let me say every shitty thing I wanted to say in the heat of the moment, and then comforted me when I was in tears over the guilt of the things I had said. Granted, I was never being straight up mean or insulting him, but I'm still grateful that he understood I was just saying shit I didn't mean because I was angry. Now that I've healed emotionally from those past abusive relationships, I will spend the rest of my life giving him all the love and respect that he's always given to me, even when I didn't deserve it. I feel more safe with him than I've felt with anyone I've ever known in my whole life.